Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Vertus here and I am back with the Unreal Engine 4 side scroller series. In today's video we are going to be finishing off the main menu, we've done quite a bit on it already, we've set up the level select, however a couple of the things aren't actually working at the moment. So the get started button doesn't work, the exit game button doesn't work, and most importantly you can't see your mouse cursor on the screen and that's what I'm going to be going over in today's video and we're also going to be playing around with the default game modes of a little bit just to make sure the heads up display isn't on the screen and all of that good stuff. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to start off by opening up the main menu screen and we are going to set up the functionality for the get started button and also for the exit game button. So I'll start off with the exit game button. If you scroll all the way down, we need to create an unclicked event. Now I've already done this here, it's really simple. Um, all we've got to do is with that unclicked event, on clicked event here, just drag it out and create a console command uh, node. So drag it out, console command, and then from there in here you just type in exit and what that will do is it will just close down the game for you and that's it really. And then the second thing that we need to do, so moving on from the exit game button now, we need to move on to the get started button. So the get started button is essentially just going to take the player into the first level and what we're going to be doing in the same way as we did for level 1, 2 and 3, we're just going to be creating a open level node. So just click that, create the event and from here just type in open level and for the level name it's going to be level 1 which is currently side scroller example map and that will get it all working for you so if we go ahead and compile this press play press get started and give it a couple of seconds to load and it will take us in straight away and that is all fine so with that all done, next thing we need to do is we need to make sure the heads up display isn't displayed on the screen or anything like that. So what I'm going to do is we've got to play around with the game mode overrides. If you want to get to this, okay so what we need to do is with the game modes overrides we need to change a few things and also create an override. If you want to get into that go to window and then go to world settings and it'll open it up over here. So in the main menu we don't want the player character, we don't want them moving around or anything like that. So what we've got to do is create an override over here. So just press the little plus icon next to override and then we're just simply going to name this um, main menu. And then just type in, I mean just press OK. From here we need to change a couple of things. First things first, we don't want the player character in here. So we need to create, not the player character, but the player controller. So we've got to create a new one, just press plus and then just name this menu player controller and then just go ahead and press OK. From the drop down, just go ahead and select menu player controller and that's all good. That way the player isn't going to have health or anything like that. Next up for HUD, we don't want them to have a heads up display at all. And then for the pawn class, we don't want them to have a pawn. We don't want them to be able to move. Go ahead and press play and that should be all good. We still don't have the mouse on the screen, so I'm going to show you how we can do that. So if you go into your level blueprints, open level blueprint from here, after the stuff that we've got here already, drag it out and then just cast to the player controller. The player controller is what handles all of the input and this will allow us to get a reference to the player controller and then tell it to display the cursor. So as player controller drag that out and just type in set show mouse cursor, toggle that, make it t make it ticked so it's true and then just hook it up just like this and as the object wildcard make sure you go ahead and set this to um, get player controller. Don't confuse this with get player character. Once that's done, go ahead and press compile, play, and from there, we've now got the mouse on the screen, and whenever I click, it doesn't disappear or anything like that, so that is great. So, next thing that we need to do is we actually need to go ahead and jump into our other level now, and then just go into that, so side scroller example, save all of these changes that you've just made, and under game mode override, just set that to none, if we go up to edit and then project settings, we've got to set the default game mode for any other level other than the main menu to be the normal stuff. So side scroller game mode and then HUD class player controller, all of that good stuff. So if we just go ahead and press play with all of this set to none, 
it should take us into the game here we can move about we can play and that is all good so if we jump over this we can get hit by the rock and it's going to take away some health one other thing that i have noticed guys is that if you go ahead and pick up this little player icon uh, the health icon you're not going to take any health away well, it is taking away some health, that little health drop. Um, I made a little bit of a mistake earlier on in the video. I set this to add 25. The maximum value is 1. So what that's doing is giving the player 25 times the full amount of health. So just go ahead and open this up. And under player health, just change the addition bit to 0 0.25. And that will fix all of your issues that you have there. So if you press play, jump into here add some health it's only going to give us a little bit so the other thing that we need to do is by default we need to tell the engine to load up the game mode um, and the map for the main menu before it takes us straight into the game so if you go into your project settings once again give it a couple of seconds to load up and then from maps and modes we need to close the modes bit now and under game default map we need to make sure this is set to main menu level as opposed to side scroller example map like it should be by default so that way if you were to launch the game it will take you straight into the main menu and that is all good anyway guys that is pretty much everything for the main menu i think once again i'd like to thank you for watching stay awesome keep creating and i will see you in the next video goodbye